project. Accomplishes something every day that is original. And it just came from something like cans. It might be eccentric, it might be odd. Just anything he can find in his hands. He can do anything he wants to set his mind on. Nobody knows me, Thomas, nobody. Why don't people know you? Because... People I'm, don't know me I'm because. a mirage, I'm a mirage, that's why. You can't have it, it's the last one. I'll split it with you. Hmm. I don't know. I don't gamble. Um, I like prostitutes. Uh, don't really care for religion. Uh, I don't like doing business because somebody always loses. I don't, I don't really know what else. Smoke, drink, and let's get really. I've been known to. I've been known question. to wear uh, women's attire at times as a as a hobby, and then she dresses like a man. Beezlebub, you dress like a fireman. This is one of my bombs, one of my newer ones. Yeah, it's just a freaking item bomb or whatever. Just had to put a little where it looks like bullets hit it or some stuff. I'm gonna name it Little Boy or Fat Man or something, I guess. Um, every day is 4th of July around here. There's fireworks. Fireworks pretty much everywhere. My bike trailer is back here because I use it to haul wood. Uh, have you guys seen the bike trailer? I forgot if I showed you that. Well, here's my scrapyard real quick. <clears throat> I brought it out when uh, you guys were here the first time. And there's the armored bike, the bottom one there. I should pull that out so you guys would like enjoy that. <laughs> Bat bike for a little while, but now it just looks like a rat bike, and it's all just trash. And then here's what we came back here for. This is a bike trailer. I made it just the right size so you can put a body on it and take it to White Rock. So, or I mean to the hospital, take the bodies to the hospital. The pressure to conform, for lack of a better word, um, in society to to go to school, to get married, to have. 2.5 kids to have your, your house, to get a mortgage, to work your entire life. That pressure weighs harder on, on some other, some people more than others, and um, Alex seems immune to that. So what did you do to your hand? Just cutting up some of these pieces of wood for the fire. Hacked it. Like this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I got it like this. I got called into the HR and was told that you know I was being caught up in this downsizing and that that day would be my last day at that job and I've always wanted to do something medical um, and I took my layoff as an opportunity to pursue that. The sarcomere is the contractile unit of the muscle cell that extends from one Z line. Currently I'm getting a couple prereqs out of the way at a community college and shortly I'll be applying for um, hopefully a physical therapy program in the next year. There's a noise tree. There's a squirrel skull right here. It's my lucky squirrel skull. Uh, I got all my death weapons. <laughs> Ready to go to battle. This is a handle that I made with chain on there. I don't know, we used to be hoodlums when we were younger. We used to do a lot of bad things. You know, most of my friends are graffiti artists and stuff, and I don't know what a, what friends are left. Damn it, Ian and Paula are still fighting next door. I gotta go deal with that. Can I go deal with that for a second? All right. I was on probation forever. I lived in a body shop about three years after that. Well, during that time. Came back, started going. Like shitty. Nobody spoke any English at all. Everybody was illegal, Mario and his brother, and Mecanico and uh, Negro, which is just a freaking Puerto Rican dude or something. I don't know. Anyways, I learned some Spanish. I s inhaled a lot of car paint. I slept in the car I was working on pretty much, you know. It was on Grand Prairie on Main Street. Uh, I don't know. It was pretty, pretty, pretty bad. One of the worst times of my life, I guess. 
know, is that George Allen Government Center, <clears throat> which is the federal place. And they call it the gladiator pit or the gladiator cage. And I got stuck in there. This big ass swole dude, black dude in Jamaica, was my celly at first. And I was like, oh, Jesus Christ, dude. He's, he's one of the most swole dudes I've ever seen. <laughs> and he was like, I was his workout friend, buddy, you know, whatever. But I, like, they put me in charge of like the white people because it's all racism in, in there, you know. And so I was like 17 or something. I, I was young. And they put me in charge of the white people because I was the only one that had any sense. You know, it was a couple of old white dudes, pretty much, that were like too retarded to deal with anything. And so like I had to like have these meetings where it'd be the Mexican dude, the black dude, and then me, and we'd sit there and like talk about, you know, what's gonna happen with this situation. Alex simply does not care about this, the minutia of our society. Um, you, you're not constantly worrying about how you look or how you think or how you dress. You are who you are and people accept it or they don't. And it doesn't matter to you. I'm gonna do whatever I want to do in life, kind of not, you know, I don't want to take orders. I don't want to live the way somebody else wants me to live or do some some job or something that somebody else wants me to do. And I kind of did the same thing with jail. I was like, oh, I'm not, you know, I'm gonna live the way I want to live, but that includes not living in jail. And because you're coming here, I went ahead and given you guys the liberty of putting the paintings up for you guys to look through. There's stuff all, strewn all about to look at. Life is boring without bending the rules, at least a little bit. I mean, who wants to sit in a cubicle and read Dilbert comics all day? That's not for me. And I, almost everything's got something on the other side, so should find. Smart kids who are artistic end up going down to Booker T and going to Arts Academy. And I was should have went there and I had my little portfolio and I was walking up the stairs and I was like, I don't want to go here because I don't know anybody here, you know? Like, this is not for me. I just didn't feel like it was for me. And I still don't think of myself as an artist, so I guess it makes sense. But yeah, I was just like, it's not for me. I'm not worthy, I guess, is what I felt. And you look at other people's work and you're just like, man, I, I, I can't, I've got no skill at all. I've got no natural talent. I've got no schooled talent, no training. I, I don't know. I just like doing it. I do it because it keeps me from killing people. You know, because I like to people, if they enjoy it, to enjoy it. I mean, ever since I was younger and I would do macrame, I would just make necklaces and give them away just because I like the fact that other people enjoy it. So I'm glad that people enjoy it, but I myself, when I look at it, I guess I enjoy it too, but I'm always picking it apart, you know? And I'm never done with a piece, which most artists will probably tell you that. It's like, you know, there's always something more that you could do, but you end up ruining it by overdoing it. And that's just the way a cookie crumbles, really. Like, it'd be best if you, while I was working on something, for somebody to just stop me at one point and just take it away from me. Because until I give it away or somebody takes it away from me, I'm going to keep working on it, really. To me, it's like, I've never had a best friend. I've never had a long-term friend. All my friends were short-term. I got what I needed and we drifted apart. But like, with Al, it's like, we sh like I didn't want it to end. And I like, even when I was in prison, I, had, I was like, man, I'll pay you 50 bucks to fucking get your sister in the world to yeah. find Alex Cunningham. I need, this is this, without this guy, I, I will be nothing, you know? I need this guy when I get out. Even though we're relatively the same age, he's always been kind of like my bigger, older, more Mexican brother. He's a, he's a fucking best dude I know, really. He's got years of technique and is off the top of his head shit is just amazing. I mean, he, he'll, he can 
seemingly visualize something that's so incredible and then be able to freaking produce it. And that's amazing. Oh. I done smoked weed where they said I can't Got rich when they said I can't Got high and got on the plane And brought all my niggas when they said I can't Went shopping places they said I can't I'm lucky that I got into it Cause that was kinda like last minute Begging the girl that was running the thing to let me into it So I was like what is a bum course show without a bum in it? Some people actually, you know, like, looked at my shit with some interest, which is cool. And there's a lady there who, like, looked at one of my spray paint cans, and uh, before she left, yeah, I gave it to her. I was like, hey, just take this with you. I'm not, like, worried about selling it or anything. And just because you enjoyed it, I want you to take it with you. A lot of people try to do these huge paintings and stuff, and then charge, you know, $1,000 or some crap. It's meant to be enjoyed, not, not <clears throat> doted over, or, like, you know. It's not gonna last forever. It's different. It's yeah. not a skateboard. It's not a skateboard. What is, what are those things called? <laughs> called break your butt. <laughs> it's called, you're laying on this hand. Break your head. asking for it. <laughs> it's called, not so much. My name is Paula Thompson. My neighbor's Alex. When I started really getting into a bad situation with my cancer, and my husband's diabetes, and my husband having seizures, and my husband crashing on his motorcycle coming up. And it can be two o'clock in the morning or one o'clock at night, you know, he's just, what do you need, Professor Panda? He goes, I don't call people that. And you're very special to me, and I will do anything for you if I can. I was like, wow. And he has, to this day. I mean, she needs to have a statue made for her. She's, she's a hell of a gal. And she's a powerhouse, man. And she's got the right morals and the right understanding of people. So where it's, you know, she just makes her a well-rounded, beautiful person. I don't want somebody to depict him as being bad or ugly or Oh, you're just, you know, some piece of crap or whatever. I'm like, you know, he is a good boy. He is a good kid. People a lot of times would look at me and just think, oh, he's fucking trash. He's a, a bum, something like that. But just because I wear women's clothes, paint my nails, and like ride a broke down scooter around, doesn't mean I'm a bum or a weirdo. Just means I need some new clothes. <laughs> Anybody that disapproves of, of the way he conducts himself or lives his life um, probably takes their own life a little too seriously and certainly doesn't understand it. I'd say I've lived a full enough life to where you could just off me right now and I'd be good with it. But I don't get any ideas because I still want to live. You know? But really, I think, I think I'm content. I'm totally content. I'd love to have a kid though. So, I don't know, I guess I gotta do that before I die. Because, I mean, I can't let these good looks just die. I mean, somebody's gotta have them.